Hi, this is Noam here at Presky One Training Center, talking today a little bit about the Rafa. So the Rafa is a portable certified anchor device, very uh, versatile, very lightweight, uh, very compact. And what we will see here is uh, to we want to compare the Rafa to ordinary anchor equipment. Now, when you go to a building, in an urban setting, in an urban environment to do rope rescue work, rope access, or any other emergency uh, rope related uh, work, uh, you need to prepare yourself in advance. You don't really know what you're going to meet inside the building. But probably what we will be able to do, if we have concrete walls, ceiling, floor, whatever, we can use bolts. Right? So I have the hammer drill, the bolts, the hammer and the cleaning uh, equipment, and I need all of this to be able to put anchor uh, bolts inside the concrete. So I need to take it with me if I want the option of putting bolts. Now, sometimes, maybe I'm gonna meet in the uh, environment when I work, uh, I-beam. I-beam is very um, common in industrial uh, settings, but also in uh, ordinary urban settings. Um, and if I want very quickly to anchor to an I-beam, I can use this certified anchor device, right? So I want to take it also with me so I have the option to anchor to an I-beam. Now, what about all kind of, uh, let's say, concrete or very dense material columns that I will see in the building? Uh, I can use the anchor sling to put around, right? Uh, maybe it's a metal uh, pipe or something, I can use a short sling. It would be easier and simpler, so uh, I'm going to take both. Uh, what about anchoring inside the building? Uh, one of the options I have, I can break the wall. If it's only bricks, it's not a problem. And then uh, take the whole wall with the rope, for example. So I want the rope also. Uh, now, as you can see, inside the building or on the top of the building, if I want to anchor myself, it probably will, uh, I will need to break, to drill, um, or just find a good I-beam in the right place. So actually, I don't know exactly what will happen. And so I need all this equipment. Okay, so we'll take it. Um, this amount of uh, equipment for an anchor, it's not uh, very common in the rope access world, even in the fire department or any other rope rescue agency, um, you can see those kinds of equipment in those kits. Let's see, you can see the size, let's see the weight. Now the weight is important, all kinds of reasons. It can be your uh, worker's health, and in emergency operations, the weight of the equipment is critical. So this is about 10.5 kilograms. Now let's see the Rafa. Actually, the Rafa gives me all the other options that we saw here in one really small and compact device. So let's think about the inside of a building. I have the side of the wall I can grab with the Rafa, okay? I have the rooftop, I can put the Rafa on it. For example, there's an L shape, okay? Um, if I have an I-beam, I can put it on the I-beam. So actually, all kind of uh, settings I will find inside the building or on the top of the building, I can take them with the Rafa as an anchor. Now, there's no need to drill, to break, to do a lot of noise. Um, it's really simple, really quick, really silent actually. So, of course, for emergency operations, all kind of tactical rope work, and even for industrial rope access work, it can save you a lot of time, a lot of pain in your back. Okay, and of course, in the emergency operations uh, field, it can save lives for sure. Thank you. Okay, now we see uh, what's the weight of the Rafa. So I'll put it inside the bag, nice and smooth, and 
and see the way. So just to remind you, this kit here is about 10.5 kilograms, and I have here 3.2. So this is a third of the weight and the size probably. 